Hi. In this slide, I want to talk about uh, the first boundary of the hexagon. So H-E-X stands for hexagon, uh, where we talk about service value concepts. So from an educational viewpoint, I would ideally like every employee to have been through some sort of educational process so that when I went to somebody, you know, on a truck or, you know, in accounts receivable, and I said to them, what is the number one niche of customer that we go after at this particular location? And they would be able to describe it in a meaningful, crystallized way. Uh, they could then illustrate uh, customers with this niche by saying, and, and these are, and they would know by heart, the five most profitable customers in the yellow belly sap sucker niche, if that's the niche you go after. And these are the five most important target gazelle accounts that we go after in that niche. I then would go on and say, and specifically for this niche, what is our service value equation metrics and where do we put them on the wall and how do we score them day in, day out? And they may be eight of them, for example, or six of them. I don't know. It, it's, it's contextual. depends on the particular niche. We'll look at some example case studies later in this, this, this section. Um, and then we would, I could ask, okay, so when we go and we sell our service value proposition to these people, how do we make money? And they'd say, well, actually, they give us volume that's got margin dollar in it, and we're exchanging our our collective cost to serve. And if our if we our collective cost to serve is less than the margin dollars, we make a profit. And our goal is to maximize the margins because our service is so good, they marry us and we get all their business. And we minimize our cost to serve because we do it right the first time. And we're so focused and efficient at what we do that we, we are the low cost producer providing this particular service value proposition. Um, and then the next question would be, all right, well, do all customers within a given segment fit this niche? Oh, no, they're, they're boundaries. In other words, you have to be of a certain size range to fit in a certain niche. You could be, you know, a, a, a veritable whale. You know, you could be one of like two customers that are so huge that you're a niche all by yourself. Uh, and then there could be lots of little guys that are chronically, you know, small, not growing anywhere and so forth. And they're, um, they're, total volume. I mean, they give everything we want in one order for the year, and that might not still make cover the cost of our, 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 our service formula that we're providing. So we may have to have a different division to take care of them. And, you know, when we make that transition from saying we're not going to over-service you for getting underpaid and lose money on you, they may whine, but we can help them, you know, order more items and so forth. Uh, and, you know, they get over and say, well, this will become profitable. Uh, or perhaps they leave, but we can't be all things to all people. And we're making a positive trade off. In other words, for people that leave, uh, we're going to more than make up with, with what we're doing here by doubling our, our volume with our core customers. And, uh, and then to make the, the, the big six, seven, eight, service value equation metrics happen, we have different service process improvement teams and who are they and how does that work and, and, and where are the charts to show our continuous improvement. Uh, if you want a little bit of an overview on a case study of eight elements of service excellence and what the benefits to the company and the benefits to the target customer are, you can go to my website at merrifield.com, click on the exhibit button and, uh, and then go to exhibit three and you'll see something will help out. Also, there's a website called opensesame.com, and if you go there and search with my, for my name, you can find modules 4.1 to 4.13, which go into the cookbook how-to detail of achieving better fill rates, cycle count accuracy, lots of things that go into service uh, excellence uh, equations. Um, these are modules that, that came from my DVD, uh, High Performance Distribution Ideas for All uh, training program, and you can subscribe to them online now for maybe a dollar a module. So it's it's maybe worth just going and checking out and testing the the, the site because they've got they've got a, a sea of other kinds of training things there too. So there's an ad for Open Sesame. So those are all the things that would add up to uh, side one that keeps everybody sort of organized to like play pong. Where's the ball? Let's all work together to make sure we bat the ball back kind of thing. Thank you.